everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I'm bringing you a review of a Rebecca Minkoff bag, as you probably saw from the description already. Uh, the bag I'm talking about is this one, and it's stunning, as you can see. It's the Rebecca Minkoff Hudson Moto Mini. It's a crossbody bag, and it comes in this kind of electric blue color, which is actually one of my favorite colors ever. I'm obsessed with this color and if, if you ask me, I would just have everything in this color. I've had it for, um, I'm not sure, but I think a bit over a year and a half. So I think I've had a pretty good uh, experience with it and I've had it for quite a long time. So I can actually give you my thoughts on it and um, maybe it can help you decide if you want to get it or not. Now, I got this bag from ShopUp, uh, it was when I had uh, one of my collaborations with them and uh, this is one of the things that I chose. Uh, right now it's not available in ShopUp anymore, but the other day I was looking at uh, Rebecca Minkoff's website and they actually have a sale right now and this bag is available in I think 6 or 7 colors which is amazing if you ask me I would just like want this bag in every single color possible because it's just it's perfect crossbody bag if you ask me it's the right size shape everything so if you're interested in this bag they are 40 or 50 percent off now on Rebecca Minkoff's website and I'm not sure if they're actually going to continue this line or if they're going to stop making it so if you want to get it, now is definitely a good time to do it. Of course, even later you can always get it from a pre-loved store like Vestiaire Collective or something like that. But if you do want to get a new one and you want a good deal, now is the time to do it. So let me get into the specifics of this bag. I uh, also have a Mini Mac from Rebecca Minkoff and I'm the biggest fan of the Mini Mac. It's also the most amazing crossbody ever but uh, some people I know have an issue with the mini mag because it zips on top and you can't really open it completely so it can be a bit tricky to reach for some things that are you know completely on the bottom with this bag you won't have a problem when it comes to this why well because it's an accordion style bag and it opens with a flap so on the front it has this very signature looking Rebecca Minkoff clasp that I absolutely love. I think it gives it like this edginess that I just adore. Then you open it, it opens with a magnetic closure. And on the inside you have this very very pretty textile interior and of course the dust bag that matches the interior as it usually is with uh, Rebecca Minkoff's bags. And then you can just open the bag, oh, there's some tissue paper here. But then you can just like open the bag completely and see what's inside. It's not, you don't have this problem as you do with the Minimac that just has the zipper and you can't really uh, open it completely. To me, that's not really an issue, but I know that a lot of people have an issue with that and they want to see, you know, they want to be able to open their bag completely and see what's inside. So this bag is great if you want that. The Hudson Moto Mini, excuse me that I'm looking down but I have these uh, measurements written down. Uh, it's 8.5 inches wide or 21.59 centimeters wide. The height is 5.5 inches or 13.97 centimeters. And uh, the depth is 3 inches or 7.62 centimeters. Um, what can I say? I mean, it's a really great size if you ask me. You can put a lot of stuff in it. I usually put the same amount of stuff in it that I put in my Mini Mac, but then it's a lot easier to reach into this bag and you could definitely fill it out more if you wanted. I personally don't have this need to uh, put a lot of stuff in my bags. I used to be a big bag kind of person. In the last couple of years I just really enjoy 
uh, wearing crossbodies because they're so practical, they're the perfect size, I realized that I don't really need a big bag as I used to think. The bag is made of Sapiano leather which makes it basically impossible to like scratch it or if you spill something on it you can just easily wipe it and nothing will show. I mean I've been using this bag for over a year and a half and I've used it quite a lot and there's absolutely nothing on it, no scratches, no indentations or anything. Another great uh, thing about this bag is, you know, the strap. The strap is quite long and it's adjustable, there's quite a lot of holes here to choose from. I will insert some uh, close-up shots. So it doesn't really matter what height you are, you can easily adjust it to the you know length that kind of suits you the best, which is always great, I think, with bags. So as I mentioned, this is an accordion style bag, as you can see, so basically you can very easily stretch it out as much as you need. When you open it, there are two main compartments, the first one and the second one. There's also a little pocket in the back and in the front there's this magnetic, very um, narrow pocket that you can put something in, like your phone or some credit cards or something. But anyways, it's very... so you can like open it more if you need to. I think it's a very useful bag and very practical one. This is what it looks on the front. Very, very nice. Obviously Moto inspired as the name says it. And this is what it looks like on the back. So it's very simple. Just a little Rebecca Minkoff sign. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will definitely be doing more reviews. I have some other interesting bags that might be useful to show if you're thinking about getting them and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.